Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. Here we are for episode number 18, I think we're up to. Oh, it's getting along. 18 episodes already. So, what I've done um, off camera is put in a lot of these palisades, as you guys can already see. All the way through here, there's some halfway up and around this side, all this side's done. And they're taking six logs per palisade, so they are bloody expensive. And it also takes a long, long time long time to come back over to our storage get get you know like 14 logs go and knock them in come back backwards and forwards then use this storage backwards and forwards backwards and forwards so only thing i don't like is the joints sometimes they just look weird i mean that's not too bad but it'd be better if we could um you know come into here and go say fence and go bang and then press like if you hold shift or control, press it again, it, it gives you a, a third point. So press it here, then you can press it here and press it there to have like a, a fully connected fence with multiple multiple spots, I guess. So it goes all the way down through here. These spots here, oh, I've just done this because this stone wall, it's probably this one's probably not too bad, to be honest. Um, I can knock this wall out, but I lose all the the stone. I'm more worried about this one. Like, it's a big, long fence. We're going to lose a lot of stone for that. And then here, we build across to here, to this fence. Then it's going to go through to here, all the way up to the other side, and then the fence goes up. Top of the hill. Um, I've got all the fences here done. In front of the houses. This house is, like, really secluded in behind these trees. It's nice. Um, the fence will come up to here, the palisades, and then it continues up and around the back of our animal area over here and then it continues back up over the hill here's some of our oh, here's some of our pigs run around like crazy they are really crazy those pigs they're always running around somewhere i think our piglet has actually um grown up to become an adult which is great uh, and here's a pig in the chicken coop don't know what he's doing over here um here's our sheep fold or our fold two sheep we should have um a lamb somewhere baby lamb there's our ram actually i think the um yeah there's another sheep so the lamb must have grown up to become a sheep which is great so all these houses are done along here everything's been daubed up um 29 to 30 is our current building limit gonna knock out um our food storage one and build food storage two but up here i have a cow shed i've already pre-built all this just to save you guys having to uh watch me build it because it's not yeah you know, it's not that fun so we'll whack this in should have brought enough materials i hope bang bang and bang and there we go cow shed is complete i wish it had like a um, straw floor or something We've got our barrel, which is empty, um, and like our food trough, which we don't need to feed them anymore, or at this stage, I don't think. A little piggy here. Don't know what he's doing. Look at this fat little bugger. Oh, they're the cutest, aren't they? Um, so that's all the animal pens at the moment, except for the goose house. I'm not going to worry about the goose house, because... Um, all it does is give you eggs. I've already got the chicken coop here, which gives us eggs, so we don't really need the goose house as an extra, because it just does the same as that. You know, the hen house, so... Now, all this area over here is just empty for now, so I'm not quite sure what we're going to put in here, if we can put anything in here. I might just put in some, I don't know, small farms or something up the back. Might even save it for some other houses when we can get some more buildings. I've left a hole in the palisade here so we can get quickly over to our fields. Um, they should be working hard. I've done a lot of changes as far as our fields go. Oh, they're down here, so they're fertilising, ploughing, and this guy's seeding. Uh, he's seeding rye. So what I've done down here is I've turned this into like our crop field. So we have three rows of wheat and a gap three rows of oats and a gap, three rows of rye, and then there should be a gap here as well. Which I'm not sure if that's actually worked. 
Um, yeah, okay, there's no gap on the end. There we go. Because I've made... Um, plant growth, where's that? So that should be... Flax. Yes, that should be flax. Accept that. That's flax. That's flax. That one's flax. I've made these other one, little ones carrot. And I've made this as oats, rye, and wheat. Just because we're getting way too much wheat and straw and stuff. And we can actually use the flax to make clothing and that sort of stuff. So I just think that's a better thing for us to do. We've got two people in here. They're turning... Um, let's press an E to open the door. So we've got... Bertold, uh, Mira Geniwa, whatever her name is, uh, in here. Turning flax stalks into linen thread. Uh, we're turning wool into wool fabric. And then I think we're turning linen thread into... Uh, what is it? Linen fabric. There we go. It just takes some, quite some time to get that done, unfortunately. Um, who's this? Irwina. What are you doing? Uh, she's working in the barn. Okay. Doesn't look like it, but anyway. Um, here is my wife. She's now the, the smith in the town. She's the uh, the blacksmith. Look at her go. Oh, God, she's beautiful when she sweats. Um, Alright, and I've put in here the next food storage. So food storage 2. We can finish whacking this in. I pre-built it just like the other thing. Just to make it easier for you guys and not have to watch me lump things backwards and forwards be extremely boring. Oop, hit the roof would be nice. Alright, so that's just about finished. We're just going to whack the inside. Boom. Food storage 3 complete. So now we have 1500 storage in here. We've got heaps of carrots, which is great. Um, fish and meat. So we have meat with gravy, 100. I did make all those. I did make all this stew as well. So we've still got heaps of wheat. And heaps of flour too. It's just, I don't know what's going to happen with um, the flour because I did actually buy 10 buckets and fill them up with water and got them to make some bread. But then those 10 buckets disappeared once they used the water out of it. So I don't want to be going and buying. Oops, sorry, I smacked her in the face. I don't want to be going and buying or crafting buckets and using them. They're just going to disappear after one use. I don't think that's really really fair, but it is what it is, I guess. So here's um, a food storage too. If we go back in now, it should just be a thousand. Yep, a thousand, which is great. We have 12, 7, 5, 6 in here at the moment. 25.8 demand. 32 population, so we've got heaps. Heaps available. A um, couple of new babies. Nistanka, Nidamara, People are still popping babies out left, right, and center. Um, so pigsty is damaged. I think I fixed that. I don't know why it's told me it's damaged again. I did fix that before. So we've got no one working in the cow shed yet. No one working in the fishing hut. Um, so we might take someone out of the cow, uh, out of the hunting lodge, and put them in the cow shed. So hunter, 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 hunter. So they're all level one. Ah, it's really not good. Where's our better? I mean, and my wife is six. She's four in crafting. Ludomira is six and five. Frederick, five and one. But told to Seamster. Okay, let's put Bertold into there. Let's have a look at our sewing grab one of our hunters so she's two and four in hunting two five two three two six so we'll grab the zebra I think that's how you say it she can be a seam star she can help out in there so that'll um allow us to have someone working up there with the cows which is great so at the moment we've got all the houses all the resource buildings all the storages all the farming stuff except for barn three which is our next unlock survival we've got everything except for fishing hut two and that shouldn't be too far away and then we've got all the crafting so we've still got two more buildings we need to build so this barn three i've just chucked it over here so it's sort of out of the way 
a uh, barn two, I should say, because I've got it from barn one to barn two, and then I'll stick like the barn three in here somewhere, and that'll give us a little road to access the fishing hut down here, which will be removed and replaced with the fishing hut two. Um, so let's actually let's go and get some food before we die of starvation. Got plenty in here, so just need to eat it. Uh, 75%, let's grab five of those. Uh, we'll just grab, eat three of those, keep two on us just in case. So what I want to do now is head to Gostovia and we can actually buy a couple of cows, hopefully. I did end up with like 25,000, I think, coins. We're at 18,000 at the moment. I had like 25,000, but I was actually buying um, bits and pieces, which took away some of our money, but I'll throw all the iron arrows in there. Don't know if we're going to be able to sell those, because I can't remember if I've actually been here this season to sell. To sell the stuff we need. Now looking at the journal, still got to wait for further events. Uh, what year are we actually in? Uh, year 7. So, we're getting along at the moment. Um, I can tell you guys that I've put a total of 58 hours into this game so far. Um, and considering we're up to episode 18 and there have been about half an hour or so each, like that doesn't equal 58 hours. So you can imagine how much time I need to spend off camera just running around doing random things while people are building up their skills and trying to unlock new buildings and stuff. So it's quite um, quite a grinding game, but it's really fun. Like I'm still loving it, still enjoying it. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying seeing it on the channel. I guess that's the main thing. I mean, the views haven't been out of this world unbelievable, but, you know, still getting views, so I'll continue to upload, and hopefully we can um, wait for another massive update and continue to just build on what we've already got in our town, which would be really good. I'm really hoping for some decorative stuff in the next update, but, yeah, I don't know. don't know what we're going to get, so we'll just have to wait and see. Talk to Sobermere. No, we've already been here and stole all their money. Yep, yeah, stole all their money. I think I was, yeah, I was selling seeds and salt and I pretty much just sold everything that I didn't need. So we'll come over here. So from what I've sort of been told, um, the cows, 5,000 each, and this calf is 4.5. Now apparently... Um, apparently the calf doesn't actually grow into a full cow so we've got 3,900 left so we'll always have two cows and um, one calf which is a little bit strange considering our um, lamb grew into a sheep we have um, a sheep and a ram so hopefully they can still make you know, lambs um, chickens, I was hoping they would be able to you know, do their thing, although I don't think we've got any roosters, which I don't know if we can buy them. I don't think I did see any roosters anywhere. Um, and also our pigs, we've got the, the pig and the hog, which should be able to, you know, do their thing and make baby piglets, but I'm not sure if the breeding stuff is actually implemented into the game as yet. Right, so um, we'll head back over and we'll have a look at our cows sick of this rain. It rained all day yesterday. It's raining all day today. I think at the moment, let's quickly look at our houses. I think our, our houses are all full. Some people have, they've got two kids. Um, and everyone else only has the one if they have any. So that's me, obviously. Um, Nawoja, uh, Nidomira, Kanami, so yeah, we're still, um, we have still got two buildings available. So the barn and the fishing hut, they won't take up a new one because they're just going to replace the ones that are already there. So potentially, I could still put in one house, or maybe even two houses, or put in the, the goose house, or the geese house, or whatever they bloody call it, up here somewhere as well. Ah, oh, where are we? So six logs... I don't really know if it's worth it. We're better off having 
case, or potentially an extra f two people. I think the two people are probably more important than just geese that are producing eggs that the chickens are already producing. Although they seem to be a little bit... I know they're not here now. Um, you, can you move a little bit, please? That was a bit of lag, actually. They don't seem to be um, in there at the moment, but they do come out, and they seem to just get stuck here. They all just stand here. They don't actually run around anywhere. Like, I can't see them on the map anywhere. It's like they just get stuck at the bottom, which is a little bit weird. All right, let's come out through here. So here we are, we've got our cows. Big mama cow, we need a bucket. Why does that say hen house? A hen house cow. Hen house cow. So we need, yes, good afternoon to you too. Uh, we need a bucket for those, and here's the little calf. Oh, isn't he beautiful? I think cows are literally my favourite animal in the entire world. I know some people think I'm stupid because I love animals. I love cows, but I reckon they're beautiful. They're so they're so weird and dumb, yet so smart at the same time. Like just some of the things they do that it just just surprises me. Some funny, stupid things. Right, let's go over here and see what it costs or what it takes to make a bucket. A uh, bucket. Wow. So two logs, wool thread, and linen thread. Oof. That's expensive. So I think we'll have. No, we don't have any wool thread. We've got linen thread. Let's grab some wool. To make, yeah, make six of those, and then we'll just grab some logs, make as many buckets as we can, and just see if we can't get milk out of it. I know it's pretty good for food and um, food and, I guess, liquid slash water at the same time, like your your thirst. Um, but as far as my character goes, I have actually upgraded, so I've gone from. My simple shoes to noble shoes. I've gone from my pants to normal pants and from my simple shirt to a tunic with thick leather gloves. Thick leather gloves and a straw hat as well. So um, I'm, I'm looking looking the goods now. Still not the king outfit, but it's not too bad. Right, let's go. I think eight might be enough. Let's just grab that many for now. Um... We want to throw our arrows back and our iron hammer. So we can probably grab a couple more. So I've got flat straw hats in here. Um, fur boots and fur hood are mine. Noble shoes and the straw hats I'm getting our seamstress and seamster to make. So we can sell them. Obviously iron arrows is what's our wife making so we can sell those. Um, I've stopped the clay and the daub production because all our houses have been daubed and stuff and if I need clay I can just go and get it myself so I remove the excavation hut plenty of firewood plenty of fertilizer huge amount of feathers huge amount of leather iron logs planks our rocks are crazy like we've got like over a thousand kilos of rocks in there rot we've got heaps of that to make fertilizer heaps of straw so here we go wool fabric and wool thread and some wool as well in there so Linen thread, linen fabric, we can sell those as well. That's what I'm getting them to do as well. So they're making linen thread, linen fabric, wool fabric and wool thread. And um, a little bit of you know, hats and shoes and stuff for us to be able to be able to sell. Right, we can make two buckets. So I'll make two of these. We'll go and see if we can get some milk. I don't know what we're going to be short. We're going to be short linen thread, I think. I know we can get some more, but I'm not that stressed about it at the moment. We can throw a log and the wool thread in there. Take this bucket up and see if we can't... Um, I want to put it in my hand. There we go. See if we can't grab some milk from these cows. So if you guys have got any ideas or suggestions what I should do, future episodes or future builds, what to put in here or, you know, build more houses or whatever, you guys let me know. Leave it in the comment section and um, 
if it's a pretty good idea, we'll um, put it in as one of our episodes. Here we go, let's milk this cow. Mm. Urgh, thank you. Thank you for your production this morning. Same as this one. Stick your head down in here and get some milky poos. Beautiful. So what is it actually worth? A hundred. That gives you six food and ten water. But I think if I sell that... Oh Jesus, she didn't like that. Um, I think if I sell that, I actually lose the buckets. Which is a real pain. I'm not sure. So I'll go and throw it in the food the food spot over here. Um, but I also want to go and see or we'll check on how we're going with making some more meals. Uh, so come into here, go down to our tavern. So what is she making? A stew, 100%. So it needs one meat and three carrot. That's all she's making at the moment. Um, one meat and three carrot. Yep, so we've got heaps of meat. We've got heaps of carrots. Yeah, definitely. Meat with gravy. Roasted meat. We've got heaps of that as well. Some stew, some rotten eggs. I think the rotten egg eventually turns into rot. We've got tons. I don't know why we keep getting the wheat in here. It's really annoying. Let's grab 38 kilos out of there. I don't want the wheat in there. It's not really edible food at the moment, is it? Every time I put it back in here, I'm pretty sure it goes back into there. Um, so I did put the woodshed to here as well, so I could actually make um, planks. Just grab the logs, make planks, and use it for the houses. And I did remove the one up the top there. It was near those other farms. Right, grab all that out of there. I am getting some salt in as well, I think, from our mine, just to make sure we can you know, make salted fish and salted meat and stuff like that. Right, there we go. Let's um, come back into here. I think I want to take another one of those hunters out of that hunting shed, hunting lodge, and throw them in the tavern. So where's our hunters? So two and six, two and five, two and four. So oddly boga, you can become an innkeeper and you can help them cook. So skill power is four, 0 0.4 an hour. So it's not going to be a massive amount, but we can get another person into there. That'll be good. Pigsty says it's damaged. Fishing hut will be damaged eventually. But everything else seems to be pretty good. Like all our new houses and stuff are still 98, 97%. So there's not too many um, issues with that. Now one thing I've seen is if we can put um, stone campfires in front of people's houses, like either side, I don't know which side, but they'll actually come along and light them themselves. So you can actually light up the whole town if you like. That way. Um, what I would like is, you know, paths. Put a path down here. Obviously it's probably not going to go anywhere, but maybe you can put some decorative stuff down there. Put in a path down to here. Put in some decorative tables and taverny stuff. And That's what I, I think the game is really missing at the moment. I mean, it's not a massive gameplay change, but it will make a big difference, I think. Like, they've already got them here. See, table, chairs, um, barrels and all that sort of stuff. So if we could just grab these and be able to craft them. You know, come in here and go as furnitures and go table, chairs and put them wherever. I put barrels down, put cups and beer mugs and plates and all that sort of stuff down and you know, in front of people's houses, put in some tables with stuff on it, buckets and, you know, whatever would be pretty cool just to add to add to what the game already is, which is, you know, pretty good. Can't sleep just yet. Oh, here he is. Good day, Lek. Have you moved from here yet today? I don't think he has. I think he just got out of bed and has just pretty much stood there. Hasn't done anything. Oh well. The life of a kid, eh? Um, so we've got... Ty Boulder. So she's a mother. And Greed is a mother. So where have all these people come from? So when I've got two new mothers, did they come out of the barn? I think one's come out of the barn. Potentially one out of the fishing hut too, but I don't really need one in the fishing hut. Ah, uh, Prusy Wit. Let's take you out of there. 
Um, fishing hut. So I want to try and get a lot more food made from our tavern. Smithy's going alright because she's making heaps of arrows. The sewings can't add anyone else. Fishing hut we don't need. Now resource storage, I'm not sure if we put people in here if they actually move things around where they're supposed to be. I don't know, so we'll throw him down in the tavern for now. I mean, I know he's only got the skill of two, but that'll change these to 0 0.6 and they'll continue to build and be able to produce a lot more food a lot quicker. So, um, right there, guys, we'll end the episode here. What I'll continue to do is just um, whack in this fence, I guess. We haven't got too far left to go. It's just time consuming. Going down and grabbing 14 logs, whacking in a fence and a, a third, and then go and get more backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. It's frustrating, but it's got to be done. So, as I said before, if you guys enjoyed the episode, hit the like button. If you've got any idea suggestions, leave it in the comment section. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.